What's up guys? Yeah, this is not a Lambo, but it could be. This is my first drive of a C8 Corvette. And um, I have to say, I'm impressed. Um, the uh, driving dynamics is pretty good. It's intuitive, with the exception of this drive uh, selection mode here. When you put it in reverse and you want to go back into drive, you can't just pull up on the paddles or, and get there. You have to make the adjustment manually down here. But having said that, this car is unlike any other Corvette that I've driven. I've driven a couple, I wouldn't say I've driven a ton, but it is intuitive, it turns in well. This car is not fully broken in, so um, the red line here is not all the way where it would normally be in a fully broken in car. But I have to tell you, I like the Squirkle. It's pretty cool. It's interesting how it's oriented fully towards the driver, which is the whole point. My buddy here, Matt, who's in the uh, passenger seat, and he is in fact the true clientele. He's going to be ordering one. Um, and so we're out test driving it with him. But oh my God, this is just awesome this is wow just beautiful um i think what i also like about it because visibility is pretty poor in this car is the backup camera it's actually not the backup camera it's a rear view camera um it is pretty wide and you can see behind you it's high, high definition too as well so it is pretty nice oh listen to that it crackles well, it's not as loud as the Perf or the Aventador, uh, but there are mods that you can do for this car. So um, this is not going to be a long drawn out uh, review. I think Chevy did an amazing job with the design. It of course is mid-engine, so you get all the exotic flair and apparently the performance on track and in spirited driving, having a car with its engine mid-board. Um, Pretty nice. I do like it. I probably wouldn't do red, but nonetheless, um, it's a great, it's a great car. Matt, you're sitting there. You've had a had chance to drive this car a little bit. What, what are your thoughts? Uh, easily the best mid-engine car you could buy for this price. Yeah, uh, and that's a good point. Price, the price point on these cars for what it is, make it an amazing buy. And it's definitely a pivoting point for Chevy. So yeah. they're trying to say, our clientele is getting too old. How can we get the younger people to buy our cars? And yeah. the answer is mid-engine sports car that we can afford out of college. That you can afford out of college. I agree. Hang on for a second here. We're trying to get out of a driveway. I'm turning around and we've got a few cars coming by. So we want to make sure. We are clear after this one. So it is, it's pretty cool to drive. Do you want to, do you want to drive it in these roads here a little bit or are you good? I'm good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, we've got to go back into manual. So that's interesting. If you change, the only thing that I noticed here in this car, and it's just a couple of things with the drivetrain that I would probably change a little bit. Like if you change, if you go into reverse and then go back into drive, you have to push manual to go back into manual. It looks like it deactivated it. Um, so just a couple of things that maybe aren't, aren't as intuitive or just an extra step that I'd prefer not to have. But yep, this is my first drive, first impression of the C8 Corvette. I've admired this car. My enthusiasm for it has been impressive just because one, Matt has this incredible passion for it. I think Chevy did an awesome job on putting this car together. And I think they delivered something to the market that they needed, that the market needed. And you look at it and you just go, wow, wow. I think the fit and finish is pretty good. The sound is good. The mere fact that on the coupe you can remove the top. Yeah, they did a good job. Good job, Chevy. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok.
Till then. Peace. Giving away